We join the American Muslim community in reaffirming our support for the Palestinian people's right to freedom and calling for an end to the Israeli occupation, which sparks the deadly violence that we see again and again, including today. On October 7th, before any Israeli response at all, Kerr also called for an end to American aid to Israel and the Abraham Accords. Fuck this gay shit. I'm gonna go watch Shrek. Let's watch it right uh, now. Dude, I'm fine. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, sh I'm Shrek, dude. I'm Shrek. <laughs> I'm, dude. Shrek I'm just dude. watching Shrek. I don't fucking... What an awful world. It's beautiful outside. That's the worst part is this is happening during the fall. When it's beautiful. It's ruining fall. There's a beautiful world we yeah. live in. Do you want to go to Square and get a piece of fruit? Um, what kind of fruit? I don't know, just like a nice apple, maybe? I'm like sweating too much, and we're only 20 minutes into this. No, we're not. Yeah. Shut up. Yes. Ginsburg? 50. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. No, we, it was, last week was a lot of nervous energy around the studio, getting this episode out and stuff, and I'm really glad that it's out now. Well, I don't know. I'm having my own kind of, I'm having a rough time lately. I know. Um, so that just... Kirk. What is it? It's your it's your special. It's just like no, it's 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 uh it's a lot of things. I mean, I like truth be told, this stuff does like affect me. You know, yeah. you can like read it a lot. But well, that's what I was saying. Is like you go through an entire human lifetime for most ninety nine point nine percent of people, you never see an image of a dead child. Well, it's it's not I even mean, that. I see it's it not, every it's, day it's, now. It, it's really not even that. I mean, it's like it does. Like, the, I mean, the reality is, it's like, yeah, the, the situation there has appeared to me my entire life to be this, like, an unjust, unjust, unjust situation. Yeah. You know, you learn all these things about, and, yeah, yeah all, uh, like, America's sordid history, how we came here, how we killed all of these fucking people or whatever. And that you know slavery and how we're that yeah. the story uh, uh, from an American perspective is one of us trying to correct this long-reaching history of just uh, you know how people haven't been treated fairly, right? And yeah. then you know there is this this one example that we fund that we pay for, you know that we have a relationship between these two countries. We actively support We actively support this thing. And you see that, you know, when you're a teenager, whenever you become aware of it, and you're like, oh, well, isn't this bad? And it's like, yeah, but we, I guess we don't actually really care about all that stuff in history. It's easy to care about it now because it's done. It's over. You know, you're going to be like, ah, oh, wasn't that terrible what happened to the Native Americans? Well, ah, shucks. Yeah. You know, we'll do a land acknowledgement. We'll have some, like, gay answer we'll like that. We'll do the haka. Right, exactly. Yeah. You know, and then it, it kind of makes you like very cynical, or at least it, it did with me. You know, I I felt like, okay, well, this is all just kind of a lie. Um, I had that experience at 19. Yeah, no, that's what yeah. I'm saying. But that's, that's, it's, it's, yeah, I just became yeah. very cynical. And to see the response now to what does look like a genocide and all of these people on the streets and stuff, it's, um, it one makes me feel like like a cat, like kind of a piece of shit for becoming cynical in the first place. Yeah. Um, and then also like it's like okay, well maybe something might be different, but then it also came at the cost of like this, like it, like I said before, this is like the worst it's ever been. Yeah, a you know? kid dies every ten minutes. This is the worst it's ever been. Yeah. But maybe it'll be different. And then, I don't know, yeah, I mean... Well, I, that's, the, that's the only thing to take hope from is the fact that, yes, literally no one did care about this. And, like, I, you can't complain about, like, seeing the dead babies, but, like, there is... I mean, there were, like, half a million people in D.C. this weekend. Mm -hmm. You know, that is, like, I've never seen that for Palestine. You know? And you take... I mean, like, I'll tell you this. When I was uh, 19, I was there... And they took us to the settlements in the West Bank and I, to show us how they lived over there. And then I looked down. But you were you were buying prostitutes and like you weren't paying attention to any of that stuff. No, you're buying I mean, child I was a Zionist, bro. But you were I mean, busy buying child prostitutes. Well, it was to support the economy. Yeah. yeah. I mean, like, um, I mean the the black market. Uh huh. But, oh, you're buying black child prostitutes. No, the black market. African children. I was on having. the black market. You didn't even go to Israel. I didn't do any of you that. You were in Congo having sex with children. And I was in the heart of darkness. Yeah. Um, in the ass of darkness? No, I went to in a strip club one time, and Nick loves to remind me of it. 
You told you tell the story. You bragged about. I that. was fucking before eighteen realized, years old. I was eighteen years old. And I didn't realize, realize that it was terrible. It was wrong. All right, so you get to give a sincere statement on this, and then no, now it becomes do. about prostitution. Please do. I don't sex know. trafficking. You brought, it, you brought it up. I don't know. You brought it up. No, but I went. Yeah, we went to the settlements, and yeah. I was like, to that point, I was a fucking Zionist. I was there right after they disengaged from Gaza. Right mm -hmm. after they they cleared out Gush Katif, and like Sharon left. And I guess 2017 was the election, so it was like, or no, it's not 2017. It was 17 years ago was the election, so this was 18 years ago. It was before the election of Hamas. Mm -hmm. They pulled out, and then they took us to the West Bank, like the last month I was there, and I realized that I was like, oh, this is the wrong side of history. Mm -hmm. And I saw, like, you look down at the Arab village that was underneath where this fucking settlement was, and you see how these people are living under constant surveillance and they're being fucking demeaned and dehumanized. And then you see these fucking guys like building these tract houses like they live in fucking Orange County. Mm -hmm. You know, in the middle of in the middle of like this p political reality which is brutal and fucking like inhumane. And I lost it. I lost it then. And I went back and I told my parents and we got in big arguments. I was like, you know, this is what we were told was important was to support fucking Israel so the Holocaust doesn't happen again. That's what we were told. Mm -hmm. And that's what my parents were told. When they were growing up. And they knew survivors, you know? Mm -hmm. And uh, it freaked them out. And I understand why there's, like, this, like, narrative in the Jewish community. But, like, the, it doesn't make Jews more safe. You know? Mm -hmm. It's a failure of a project. And then now we're seeing, like, this fucking bloody reality. And yeah, but the response is crazy. Cause I, the I mean, response you know, yeah, is insane. It's, it's, it's like the, the idea... Like Seeing a, Joe Biden saying he doesn't believe the death tolls, that really broke me. Well, because, they're panicking now. You see, Trump is... Trump's killing... Trump's polling is fucking insane. Yeah. And he's now... He's 10 points in Nevada. <laughs> he's up like... He's beating Joe Biden by like 22 points with black people. <laughs> <laughs> it's like fucking insane. Yeah. yeah. It's like this massive, and it's like, you know, I mean, the libs are going to do the whole like, uh, uh, excuse me, but the other option is worse. It's time yeah. to just fucking. But that's, you know, a, I don't know if that's going to keep. It's not, it's not, not this time. Work. Not this time. Not with like, you know. It's, it's not going to work anymore. Yeah. The best you can hope for is that they don't spitefully, people don't spitefully vote for Donald Trump at this point. But. Well, or that they get him in jail or something. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's it's just, it is does feel like a chaotic reality, and it doesn't help. It doesn't help um, as, like, a baseline of, like... Yeah, it's just, like, yeah, it's just... Uh, but, know. you know, like, you know, I think we're trying to our best to just make something that's nice for people. Well, let's, I thought not, that people would let's, be, let's not do that. I'm not doing let's that. Not, let's not elevate the Adam Friedland show to being no, no, the panacea for a fucking no, no, no. <laughs> crisis it's, Isn't it panacea? Whatever it is. No, no, it's, this is has it nothing panacea? to do with that. Is it panacea? Is it? Panacea? Panacea, yeah. I thought it was like a... No, no, this like has nothing girl. to do with Gaza. Panacea. Gur, gur, <laughs> Pana no, no, this has nothing to do with the Gaza crisis in Gaza. Yeah, no, 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 it's just, it feels like nice that we get to do something simple. Mm -hmm. No, it's just on a personal level. It has nothing to do as a response yeah, to Gaza. Yeah, you know, it's, it's tough out there, but at least we're making something that... Uh, it just makes it okay for people, you know? <laughs> You're fucking psycho. <laughs> at, least, at least, you know... It lived for, for, if it were for guys like us, I bet it would suck pretty bad to be a fucking Palestinian baby. I, hopefully, they can, hopefully they can get one of those generators no, plugged this into a, a laptop statement that so it, that all those, all those kids in Gaza life, it can check out life. our interview with Dave Portnoy. No, it has nothing to do with the audience. It, it's just talking about that I feel lucky that I get to do this kind of shit. Oh, okay, all right. It has nothing to do with Gaza, but I wish that the people in Gaza. I mean, yeah, like, I, wish dude, that the, I wish that the people in Gaza you, I'll would. I'll watch tell, the I'll new tell you, you know what, you know what show. makes me and feel. Bring them you know what makes me feel better is watching Shrek. Yeah, well, no, I just feel really lucky that we get to do this crap. I do. Yeah, but that has no, nothing to do with. No, no, I'm just saying it's a horrific world, and a lot of shit makes you feel terrible. Makes me feel terrible, mm -hmm. and I feel really lucky that I like we're in a like very fortunate position right now yeah and then and then then all that time of we have a lot of friends in comedy that aren't in this position cynical and about, are very talented people it makes it hard to be sincere if you've been cynical about these things for i know for so long i know but it is it's i like, struggle yeah, it's, with that 
I fucking struggle with that. It's like it feels like I don't want to like also too being in the position now where we make like a decent amount of money. It's like you know we pay taxes, and it's like yeah, that's where it's. I can do the math. I can do the math. I know I've paid for at least one of those bombs. (laughs) Like me personally, that's on me. Yeah. How much are the bombs? Three hundred thousand dollars. Yeah, I've paid for one of those. For the Iron Domes. I've definitely paid for one of those. You gripped an Iron Dome for the boys over there. Mm-hmm. From my boys over there. Um, anyway, guys, listen, we love you. You Me feel, love you. Do you see that Obama saying uh, that there's, you know, he's like, oh, there's a uh, lot well, you think about it. Um, Obama, actually, I kind of like. There's blood on all of our hands. I mean, that was probably one of the most honest things I've ever seen him say. Well, it's not blood on my hands. It's on your hands. There's blood on your hands, yeah. Barack Obama. When, well, but when he specifically said the word occupation. Would you have you, you mean this week? Yeah, you don't after you, being out of not, office for over yeah. a decade and bombing a weddings de- in Yemen. Yeah, <laughs> after bombing seven. I want to okay. And, I want to have a, a. They used to do it on the Daily Show. Moment of clarity. This is what, what people know because this is moment like this is, this is people people complain about libs doing this where they'll rehabilitate like fucking just like yeah, it's true. Republican monsters. Yeah, You're doing true. don't do the same thing with him. Do, do not make Barack Obama a friend oh. of the Adam Friedland show, unless he would no. like to come on. We would love to have him on. In which, exactly. in which case, we would like to have him on, and then we will rehabilitate his image in that in that. I manner. would love to. I do want to bring... We should have Hamas on the show. <laughs> and Nasrallah. <laughs> yeah. 